Hello everyone and welcome to a little quick video I wanted to put together here. Um, this is something that's just going to be quick and unscripted and just something I thought would be pretty cool for you to look at. So this is a folder, uh, a press folder, um, and this was given out in 1993, probably at a Macworld or a press event or something like that. And inside is a bunch of goodies here. Um, and I want to go through uh, some of what's inside here because I have not seen it anywhere else. And I think it's just pretty cool to look at. So uh, the first thing you'll notice is a lot of papers here. So there's a lot of documents, uh, news releases, stuff like that. But there's also these slides and uh, these are photographic uh, positives. Um, and so when a light source is illuminated from the back, you can see them there in great condition. And there are some awesome shots of computers here. So let's go through these first because they're Probably the most exciting part here. So here's a Quadra 840 with a display. I'm sorry, 840AV, how could I forget that? Here's an Apple AudioVision 14 inch display. An exciting Geoport telecom modem, ooh, or an adapter rather. Yeah, these probably have not been taken out in a long time, so they're not happy to come out. Uh, here's a Quadra 840 AV with a Centra 660 AV. I think I actually have both of these machines. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And then we have what looks like a screenshot of the At Ease software. At Ease 2.0. That's pretty cool. So. Um, this booklet was given out to the press and it was obviously, you know, trying to give them information to write about or share. And so I'm going to just, gonna, I'm not going to read the press releases. I'm probably going to end up scanning these in, but, um, yeah, so this is Apple pushes the boundaries of personal computing with AV technologies. So this is probably touting the Quadra and the Centris. Yeah. So this is from July 29th, 1993 at the Macworld Boston Expo. And it, you know, gives specifications of the products, touts what it could do, some pricing there, jeez. So the Quadra 8, 8, 840AV started at 4069 US dollars. Wow. And the highest end model of that would go up to $6,249. That's with uh, a one gigabyte hard drive, uh, Ethernet, uh, CD, ROM, wow. But only 16 megs of RAM, jeez. And uh, let's see, what else is there? Uh, Apple introduces, yeah, yeah, I can't speak today. Apple introduces the first computer display with integrated audio and video capabilities. <laughs> no other monitor display on the market today that provides uniquely integrated audio capabilities with this product. Full support for vo voice annotation, email, as well as interactive real-time telecommunications. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Let's see what else we got here. Apple ships plain talk text to speech developers toolkit. August 3rd, 1993. This is pretty neat. Mac and talk to system requirements. System six or system seven. Uh, it looks like maybe a white paper here on Apple AV technologies. Yep, Apple AV technologies white paper. Look at that. This is probably a page turner, I'm sure. Nice little chart there. Time 1.6. Wow. Cool stuff. All right. This looks like uh, it's not from Apple, but a different software manufacturer. CE Software Incorporated. Um, Quick Keys OSA component. Yeah, so essentially, you know, Apple's bundling software on machines. Looks like uh, this company made CompuServe, Quick Mail. Apple Link, America Online. Oh, never mind. They're just uh, touting their um, numbers for <laughs> and uh, keywords for these services. They don't make CompuServe. So it's a CompuServe keyword, Apple Link keyword, America Online keyword. 
Jeez, almost forgot about those. Uh, here's one from Fractal Design Corporation. We support Apple's Quadra 840AV. It's lightning fast. Painter X2, which requires Painter 2 to run, is currently shipping at a retail price of 149 US dollars. <throat> Spectral Innovations. Full support for Apple real-time architecture. So this is talking about AT&T, Sys... No, I'm sorry. Yeah, the co-processors and... I guess the uh, digital... Uh, processors that were in these computers, the digital signal processors. So they're talking about uh, doing Photoshop-like um, functions, Gaussian blurs and such, and how with uh, these add-on cards it's uh, working better or faster. All right, we have a release from WordPerfect. WordPerfect 3.0, new version for the Macintosh, ex expected to ship this fall. If you like Word Perfect, it's a press release about that. Oh, here we go. Radius. Let's see. Radius plans Apple real time architecture support on fastest Photoshop accelerator. Yeah, Radius was a cool company. They, they did a lot of uh, monitors and hardware and accelerator cards for the Mac. Um, really neat stuff. Not cheap, though. Op code, whatever that is. Music software update, 16 bit CD quality audio. Okay, oh, there's a picture on the back here. So that is what their software looks like. Neat. <laughs> Jabra, well. Wow. Earphones, Streamline AV for Macintosh AV. Yeah, basically, voice recognition headphone. All that fun stuff. All right, articulate systems. Yeah, so all these are just saying, wow, the new AV communications of the Macintosh line, you know, we're gonna support these and blah, blah, blah. Oh, here's a cool one, Super Mac. Okay, so before they were a clone manufacturer, they actually produced video cards and all sorts of things. And so here is a press release for a compatible graphics card for the Quadra 840AV. And they're mentioning those uh, processors again. Yeah, wow. These are on thick paper too. They're like, you know, nicely printed and everything. Uh, here's one. Great Waves software. It's new speech technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Passport, Producer Pro supports the Quadra. 16-bit audio, video support, CD. Basically, multimedia is fantastic. CLI announces Cameo, personal video system. Yeah, a lot of software companies were, I guess, drawn to the capabilities of these Macintosh computers because they had these video in and video out ports. So anything they could do to align their products to work with these specific models. Uh, of course, that was, you know, within their best interests. Especially if you're having somebody spend $4,000, $5,000, $6,000 on a Macintosh uh, with these AV functionalities, you want to make sure that um, you have software to support it. And that's the furnace kicking in. So that's what that noise is. AT&T Partnerships provides blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, everybody likes the architecture and so forth and so on. All right, so I'm gonna put this back in this folder. <clears throat> we'll get to the other side. If that wants to go in carefully. Yeah, so I got this folder um, at a flea market, um, the Trenton Computer Festival, years and years and years ago. Um, and I got it with a bunch of other stuff, the guy uh, you know, I bought some things throughout the day from him. Very nice guy. Um, him and his friend were selling a bunch of old Apple stuff. I guess they used to clean out places. I got, um, some support tools binders and this press release folder and a Newton press release folder, which I'll probably show in another video. But yeah, that's how I came across this. 
Um, all right, so this is uh, at ease 2.0 for System 7. So this is an Apple press release. These are cool because you, you would think that you could just Google a press release from Apple. No, they don't have them, not on their website. They don't have any press releases. Um, and if you even look on the Internet Archive, I think the only press releases from Apple are you know, somehow in... Um, yeah, I think they're from like the early 2000s and that's about it. You know, you can't even get anything for the 90s. This is really cool in, in my book at least. Ah, here we go. Migrating to Macintosh on PowerPC. So this is pretty cool. Press, press Backgrounder. I really can't speak today. So this is the SDK that lets you migrate your 68K applications to the PowerPC platform and goes into all this detail here of why you should do it and the phases of the development and the timeline. It was pretty cool stuff. A lot of this is probably lost. Oh my goodness. Open doc. <laughs> Shaping tomorrow software. Yeah, that would be if it ever uh, survived. <laughs> that is that is great. Jeez, background. Yeah, I'm gonna have to scan some of this stuff in. This is just uh, too cool. Yeah, the shape of the future. Sadly, Open Doc never really went anywhere. Oh my goodness! All right, these are cool. I am going to have to definitely scan and preserve these. So these, as you can see with the little holes here, were designed to go into a three-ring binder. Now, besides giving these out to the press, these were also valuable to add to your Apple Support Tools reference guide. This warrants its own video as it's really cool, but essentially, this was a three-ring binder for Apple resource coordinators and resellers. Before the internet, this was your go-to resource on everything Apple. From newsletters, to product data sheets, to uh, FAQs, software compatibility information, uh, basically everything. Uh, it's a treasure trove of information, so uh, it's really neat. But the point here is that these sheets uh, fit directly into this binder here um, with the rest of its friends, and it's just a very cool way to organize this information. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. This is the Quadra 840AV. 40 megahertz processor. Wow, up to 128 megabytes of memory. Works on all monitors. Three Nuba slots. Yeah, this is a great machine. I have one. I'm still trying to get it back, back in working condition. Yeah, this is just cool. It just lists all the specifications, see what it's compatible with, um, the, well, the height, weight, the operating environment, you know, stuff it comes with. All very cool stuff. Ah, here's the Centris 660 AV. So this is similar information here, just on this particular unit. And all the configurations too, which is pretty cool. With Nubus adapter. Yeah, 25 megahertz, oof. <laughs> right, here's one of the displays, Apple Audio Vision 14 display. I had one of these, I don't know if I still have it. I might have tossed it. It was making a very high-pitched squealing noise, um, and it was pretty intolerable when you were trying to use it, and it, you know, it was probably a bad capacitor or something, but what did I know back then? 14-inch diagonal, 13-inch viewable screen, 640 by 480, 70 DPI. Microphone, speakers. Yeah, this had one of those um, non-standard uh, ports that Apple was pushing with all of their AV equipment. So you need an adapter to use them. Usually came with one or a breakout cable. Right, this is at ease 2.0. So this is like the, the launcher uh, on steroids, essentially. Um, and this is pretty cool. It's, uh, you know, meant for schools and institutions that, you know, you want to just have access to applications easily. The first time I ever used this was actually in my elementary school. They had a Macintosh set up, or a classroom of them, rather. And this is how you launch games and applications. So, you know, you didn't have to navigate or open folders or anything. Everything was just right there. A Macintosh computer with two megs of memory is required. <laughs> okay, and then Addies 2.0 for work groups. So this is pretty much the same thing, but optimized for work groups, activity logging, security, management, etc. Sorry for the glare there. It's sort of... Hard to get light in here. So that's really it. I mean, these are these are really cool, and I'm glad I kept them. Um, 
They're certainly something I've never seen before. And just wanted to share them with you today, and I hope you enjoyed looking at this type of stuff. If you did, I do have a few more folders like this that I hope to show in the future. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Well, that's it for today's video. If you like this sort of stuff, please consider subscribing to the channel here on YouTube. You could also follow me on Instagram and Twitter to see what's going on between videos. And of course, you could help support the channel via Patreon, which gives you exclusive access to special content and behind the scenes goodies. And thank you very much again for watching.